For over 25 years, a local organization uses education and important STEM, STEM skills to empower today's youth. Vince Meldrum, president and CEO of Earth Force, recently spoke with our guest host, Emily McKenzie, over Zoom. Take a look. Hi, Vince. So, uh, hey, Emily, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. And Earth Good. Force, that sounds cool. Tell me a little bit about Earth Force, what it's all about. Sure. Um, so we're a nonprofit organization and we uh, help young people understand the environmental issues in their community, um, but also the uh, civic uh, policies that keep those environmental issues in play. And we teach them to have the skills and knowledge they need to uh, participate in local decision making. And so we have young people working on all kinds of environmental issues, everything from indoor air quality in their school to fire safety in their community, to flooding in their community or to uh, hazardous waste that might be in their neighborhood. That's fantastic. So I've heard this term, science is a verb. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a term, the, a phrase that comes from uh, one of our young students. Um, she participated for a couple of years and then I asked her what she thought about the process. And she thought, you know, it's the first time that I understood that science is a verb. And what she meant by that is that before that science had been just something that she studied and, and was part of, um, of lessons, but it wasn't something that she knew how to use. And so uh, she coined the phrase science is a verb because it transitioned science from the study of something that was static to something that became a tool for her that she could use to solve problems in her community. I love that. So then Vince, tell me what are some of the programs that the kids can get involved in? Yes, yeah, so in Colorado, we have two programs. Um, one's called the Community Action and Problem Solving Program, and the other one is called the RISE Challenge. Um, the RISE Challenge is mostly in northern Colorado, but moving down the front range. It's a partnership between Earth Force and FEMA, um, and that has young people look at the environmental hazards in their community and then try and do something to address those. So they look at issues like flooding or fires or other things, and then they take action to change the structure of, um, of the community to solve the problem. Uh, and then the community action problem solving process, very similar, um, but kids have a kind of a wider berth. And so those young people work on everything from um, uh, you know, we had a group of young kids working on cigarette butts that were in a nature preserve this year to uh, decreasing or to improving stormwater flow in their community to indoor air quality. This is all wonderful. Let's hear from one of your recent graduates. One of my most vivid memories from seventh grade was actually we went out to Roaches Run across from uh, National Airport and we were in the mud and digging up these plants and I vividly remember falling over into the mud. My glasses got all muddy, but I really felt like, again, I was doing something. I felt like I was mastering the concept. In light right. of COVID-19, I'm curious, how has your program changed? Oh, it's changed a lot, to be honest with you, Emily. Um, so we are a school-based program, so we train educators to use a certain process in classrooms. Um, so the first thing that we've had to do is switch over all of our training from in-person trainings to virtual online trainings, just like uh, the Zoom call that I'm on with you today. And now we're working on, or have been working for a while, on uh, helping educators move from an in-person classroom to a virtual classroom um, and still do our process. And so we've worked with a lot of great teachers um, really across the country. We've brought in about 20 of them to work with us on how to redesign it. And we're ready to go for uh, school in the next couple of weeks. We're pretty excited to see how it works, but you know, we know that educators have a tough road in front of them and we're here to help them. So then how do you incorporate science that the kids do in school with your program? So it actually starts with science. And so for instance, young people that uh, were interested in fire hazards in their community um, up in Estes Park, they started with a study of the dynamics of erosion and what erosion does to the side of a mountain. Um, and what they learned was that that erosion, when there aren't plants there, erosion is much worse, it causes flooding. Um, and so they started to study why did erosion happen? And they found that the trees had died um, they had burned in a fire um, and needed to be replaced. And so it really is based in whatever the teacher is teaching in that science class. And once they understand the dynamics of how that environmental situation works, the young people then look to see what are the community policies and practices around that and identify things that they could change or influence. And then they take on a civic action project. And so and it's to be honest with you, Emily, it's incredibly empowering because young people, if you can imagine, go from being talked to all of the time 
to going adults to adults and saying, these are the things we would like you to do. This is the action we want you to take. That's great. And we sure do love the environment here in Colorado. So Vince, real quick, tell me how can people sign up to be a part of Earth Force? The best way is to go to our website. We're always looking for uh, educators in the Colorado area. And there's a big button on our website that says become an Earth Force educator. Click on that and stop in and see us. And then if some of you are interested and want to uh, donate or volunteer, there's another button for that. Just put, click on the contact page um, and fill out the form and it'll come right to us and we'll reach out to you. Great, Vince, thank you so much for being with us today. The impact of Earth Force doesn't last for day or year. It lasts for a lifetime. Help give students the experience, tools, and confidence they need to become a powerful stewards through their lives. Sign up to become an Earth Force educator or consider a donation to help kids through the program. For more information, visit earthforce.org. Keep it here.